for the Lord, God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, preach the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to the Rapture Daily Devotional this morning. I want to look at Psalm 149. I think we are in 149. Who is reading first? Read loudly and clearly. Praise, praise you the Lord. Sing God to the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Mm. So, Where is the his praise of God should be seen? A new song should be sung for the Lord. In what? In praises to the Lord. So our songs should be songs of what? Of praises. Well, I hear some of the things they are singing in some churches. There is nothing that is praising God in it. It is about what? It is about jamborees. It is not about jamboree. The content of what we sing to God must what? Must give praise to the Lord. And where, more, where should God be praised? In the congregation of the righteous. So what is the congregation of the righteous? This is the congregation of the righteous. What we call the church today is actually a gathering. Is actually what? The congregation of what? Of the righteous. You say where two or three are gathered in my name. I'm there in their midst. That's why the psalmist says, Blessed is the man who walk not in the council of the wicked, but who what? Who st- not stand in what? In the, uh-huh, but, but mm-hmm. in the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord. You are not staying it. In Jesus' name. Only rapture will sing it. A rapture, yeah? Someone. Blessed is the man who walked us in the castle of the ungodly, but stand in the path of sinners, but see the sister of the scoffer, but delight in the law of the Lord, and, and his word made day, day and night, so that we is like the river, the like the tree in the, that is planted in the river of the, of the water, which is, which is our wither, but whatever it does shall prosper. The wicked shall also, the wicked, the wicked shall also, Praise the Lord. If you go at him, if you go continue, you see she's she was not following. I know she cannot do read the offered very well. She's stammering. She's stammering. Praise the Lord. So what is the church? The church gathering. What is when we say we are we are going to church? Where, what are we where are we actually going? We are not actually going to church. Because we are going to the gathering of the church. There is no church building. Anywhere. There is only a building where the church gather. Or you can see we are going to the meeting point of the church because we are the church. And what is the church gathering? When we gather together, what do we call it? It is what? The congregation of what? Of the righteous. Amen. Amen. And that is why unrighteous people, unholy people have no business in the church. They have no business in the gathering. It's what? What is the church, the church gathering? What we call church day is actually what? We say is what? It is the what? The congregation of the righteous. And that is why Paul tells us first, first Corinthians 5. He said the one who is noticed to be living in immorality should what? Should be as communicated from your midst. Do you know why? Because the church is what? Is what? What do you say it is? 
it is the congregation. Which verse is that? This one. He says, sing to him in what? Praise you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And, and his praises in the congregation of saints. That is verse one. Let me see for another version. NLT wonder fast. Praise the Lord. Sing mm -hmm. to the Lord a new song. Mm -hmm. Sing his praises in the assembly of the faithful. In the assembly of the faithful. Is an assembly? We assemble together. We congregate. The only use of the faithful. Those people who are faithful to God. Not people who are what? Who are dis who are dishonest. Not people who are unfaithful. You know what it means, the faithful? What if what it means to be faithful? Amen. Who are obedient? Who are trustworthy? Hallelujah. So the church gathering is what? Our gathering together is supposed to be what? It's supposed to be the faithful or the what? The righteous coming together. Sinners have no place in Zion. The Bible says, and there is a way, it is called the way of what? The way of holiness. Say, for the church of God is what? Is the pillar and ground of truth. Amen. He said, the, the, he said the sinners will not pass through it. Hey, they will not pass through it. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is why the devil has access to many churches today. Because when you allow unrighteous people to come to church, a garden of the church, what do you do? You have automatically allowed the devil to come in. You have opened the door of the church to the devil. And that is why sin should be a taboo in the church. Amen. Continue to read. Eh? So let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Hmm. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let three. Let them praise his name. Hmm. Let them praise his name. You should praise the name of God. Eh? What now? Hmm? In that in the dance. Let them sing praise. So we are supposed to praise God with what? Dance. So I wonder why some churches say they don't dance. You know that's why they don't dance. In the name of being holy. That is not being holy. Holiness is what? Is dancing, praising God, singing praise to God, dancing to God. That is holiness. It's part of being holy. So we are supposed to dance when we come to God's presence. We are supposed to do what? Dance. Not the one that they say you should praise God. You now sit down. When last do you dance to God? So in the congregation of the righteous, what do they do? They dance. Some people say that some women be shaking bomb, but they will be no. If there is a righteous person there, he will his dance will be a righteous dance. He will not be seductive in his dance. So that cannot be an excuse not to dance in the presence of God. And that is why we say it has to be the, the congregation of what? Of the righteous. The motives are pure. It's about God, not about, about seduction. A brother said he went to a church and during the praise and worship. Or somebody came and then started dancing and then dancing romantic dance before him. And I told him, I be he discovered that, that man that man was a gay in a very big church in Lagos. Amen. Because it, that church is not what? It's not the church. It is not the what? The guardian of the church. It's not the commission of the righteous. Sinners and every day can hurry gather there. It's not the church now. It's not, it's not, it's not what? It's not an assembly of, of the faithful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am in charge here. So everybody stop opening anything and, and look here. Stop distracting. Amen. Amen. Continue to read. Let them sing praises unto him mm -hmm. with the tambour and harp. Mm -hmm. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Are you hearing that? Mm -hmm. God does what? When we are praising God, what are we doing? We are making God. We are giving God pleasure. We are pleasing God. When we are living holy life, we are what? Pleasing righteous life. We are pleasing God. We are praising God. We are pleasing God. He's taking, he takes pleasure in his people. So that is why we have to what? We have to praise him. Use instrument to praise God. The tambourines, the trumpets, the drums, everything that is available should be used to praise God. Eh? Continue fast. He will beautify the meek with salvation 
Let the saints be joyful in glory. So when we praise God, what does God do? He beautifies us with what? With salvation. And Lord, let them do let them do what? Let them make... Read where you are reading now. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Mm -hmm. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Mm -hmm. Let the high praises of God be in their mouths. Mm -hmm. And it's and a two edged sword in their heart. Let the high praise of God be what? With our mouth we praise God. As we are praising God, He said, Let us also what? carry the two edged sword where? In our hand. And eh? to do what? To execute vengeance upon the heaven and no, punish. Not, not, not heaven. Not heaven. Upon the hidden. Hidden. Mm -hmm. And punishment upon the people. Mm -hmm. To. To bind their kings with chains mm -hmm. and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all this all he said. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 The saint Amen. have honor. Have you not finished? Well, sit down. Amen. We have a honor to what? To execute the word. The written judgment. God will not jump down and judge wickedness in our land. He will not what? We cannot say we are praising God, we are worshipping God, and we lock ourselves in, in, in the place of, in assembly. Why evil is going on in the land? And we, and we ignore the evil. That is not Christianity. It's not biblical. There is a place to what? To praise God with the taborings, with our mouth, with songs of praise, with songs of joy, rejoice, dancing. There is a place to dance to the Lord, and there is a place to also what to carry the two the sword to what to execute the written judgment upon the wicked. The problem all along is that the church prays God, even when we are praising God, even without 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 righteous without righteous without righteousness, because we are made to understand that the people that should congregate and praise God, they should be righteous, baby. It's to the child to be righteous. They have to be faithful people. Even the praise you are saying you are praising. What are the, who are the, what are the people? What is the life of the people praising God? Very important to God. The life of those praising God is as important as the praise you want to give God. Because God wants to take pleasure both in our lives and what? And our praises. Hallelujah. So why we do that? Then there is another assignment on the second side of it. And it's the assignment of what? The assignment of executing the written judgment upon the wicked. The church has been praising. Though even praising God without righteousness and holiness. So God has not been taking pleasure in our praise because our praise is not with righteousness. On the other hand, we have neglected the judgment of the wicked. And that is why evil is prospering in our land. That is why evil leadership have taken over. When we are supposed to rise and put an end to bad leadership, to judge bad leadership, we refuse to do what we are supposed to do. Pastors tell you that their assignment is to what? Is to, is to praise God, Abby, to worship God, to continue to be locked up in the congregation. That is not true. We have a two-faced assignment. One assignment is what? Is our 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 word our ministry to the Lord, and the other assignment is what is our ministry to God's people to vindicate God's people. So ministry is a two-faced thing. Number one is ministry to the Lord, which has to do with what living a life of righteousness and a life of praise, so that God can take pleasure in us. Number two is our ministry. To Ministry to the people of God to bring liberation, to bring shukor, to bring order, to bring righteousness to our nation. We will have to live righteous life, which is what is necessary for us to praise God. Amen. Amen. Then as the saint of the Lord, we have to execute the word, the written judgment in order to bring to enforce righteousness where? In our communities, in our nations, we have to enforce righteousness. We have a duty to live righteous life so that God, we can praise God 
for God to take pleasure. Then we have another duty of what? Duty of enforcing righteousness in our land. And how do we do that? It is by taking the sword to execute judgment. It is in executing written judgment that we enforce righteousness on our land. We have been negligent as a church. We've not been doing the two. Amen. In our, we, are, we have been praising God without a righteous life. And we have been going, going to church, congregating without what? Without enforcing righteousness in our land. And that is why the devil have, have his place in the church. The devil has taken have been a throne. Babylon, our churches have been turned to Babylon because we congregate and praise God without living righteously, without emphasizing righteousness of life. Amen. And then our nation has been taken over by the devil because, because we do, because, because we what? Because we neglected taking the sword to execute the written judgment, to enforce righteousness in our nation. Have you seen the problem? Why the devil has taken over the church and the nation? Is what we're talking about this morning. How, why the devil has taken over the church? Because we congregate to praise God without emphasizing righteousness of life, without living righteously. The devil came in. The devil hijacked our nation and brought Atalias as leaders. He may brought the caliphate to come and what? To continue the evil that is going on. The Fulani caliphate to continue the evil that is going on. Wicked men have taken over our nation. Because we are not what? Because we have not taken the sword to execute the written judgment upon the wicked. We have not enforced righteousness in our land. Hallelujah. So righteousness must be enforced in the land. By what? By taking the sword for judgment. Amen. And we must live righteous in our, we must emphasize righteousness among God's children so that the devil has no place in our nation. So this morning we have seen the problem, problem of the church, why the devil took over the church and took over the nation. And what can be done? What can be done? We must return back to what? To righteousness. Pastors must begin to raise the righteous people, must begin to preach righteousness, must begin to preach holiness. Amen. We must return to the gospel of the kingdom. That is the way to go. Amen. And we must return to what? To preaching of what? Of what? That is sent, preaching that is sent to take their place of what? Of what? Of judgment over the land. Of enforcing righteousness in the land. You see, this honor have all he sent to what? To execute the word. The written judgment. We must execute judgment. We must rise and put and, and what? And stop this ongoing evil. God will not jump down to stop immorality. Amen. God will not jump down to stop what? To stop these bad leaders. He will not jump down to, to bring good leaders. He must arise. Election will soon come again. The church must take a front, a, a front stage in bringing about good leadership. Amen. We must take the front stage in what? In ending corruption. We must take the front stage in what? In executing God's judgment in order to, to bring righteousness to the land. Our land is, is a disgrace to, to heaven because the saints in Nigeria are not doing the needful. The believers in this nation have neglected righteousness, both personalized righteousness and enforcing righteousness in the place of judgment. This is where we miss it from. Let's go back to where we miss it. Let's read the Bible in context. Let's read the Bible by revelation. And that's what I'm talking about, that you need the revelation of the word. It is not the, it is not the letter, the letter killer, the spirit giveth life. You need revelation. What transforms the people and the land is not the letter. It is the revelation of the word. And that is why we must continue to pray. And that is what God has assigned us to do, to bring the word revelation. With the listing, we have books upon books that will give a light to where you can read and understand what they're talking more. But how many people care to read? I mean, our books, The Roadmap to Collapse, The Caliphate and Restore a Nation, Part 1 and 2, they are here. You can order those books. They will bless your life tremendously. Our book, The Court to Separation, you can read it, How to Qualify for Rapture. It will help you to understand what they're talking about here. 
our book, the, uh, the Comic Political Arts of Islam. You can get it and read it. It will give you understanding. Our book, Understanding the Spirit of God, is seen to the churches now, part one to three. They are available. You can read this book. They will bless your life tremendously. So that you can know what you are supposed to do. Or you want to talk about that book, uh, Overcoming the Seven of Hell? It's a book that you need to read. Or the book, The Border I Counter for the Last Reviver. Or a book titled, Avoid the Rose to Hell. You need to read these books. They will help your life greatly. So I pray the Lord will help us to, to, us, to take the place of responsibility. We have been an irresponsible, you know, people of God. And that is why ir irresponsible. We have not been responsible in our personal righteousness life and living a holy life. We have not been responsible enough to live righteous and holy. We have not been responsible to enforce righteousness, to enforce the risen judgment in our, in our land. And that is why evil men have taken over our land. Until righteous men arise from Zion, who will enforce, evil, enforce righteousness and judge the evil that is going on, evil will continue to take over the land. May the Lord bless us this morning in Jesus' name. I remain your brother Moses or George Jeremy God Special, the coordinator of Rachel Pressure and Discipleship Ministry. The Lord bless you. If you want to have uh, these books, you want to order for a book, you have to pay and pay with the cost of the book you want to order. And then with also with your will because then we have to now ship it to you wherever you are all over the world. Or some of our books are on Amazon bookstore. You go and check the book by Moses of Jesus and God Special. Uh, 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 the seven, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the seven priorities to buy the new Nigeria is on Amazon Bookstore. This, uh, the coming collapse of Islam is on Amazon Bookstore. And several of them, understand what God is saying, part one and two, I think they're on Amazon Bookstore. Many of our books on Amazon Bookstore. You can go there and then understand the ongoing bloodshed in Nigeria. Several of them are on Amazon Bookstore. They will bless your life greatly. But if you want us to ship them to you, you have to chat us on our number. Plus two three four eight zero three three nine two one two one three. If you're in Nigeria, the number is zero eight zero three three nine two one two one three. I will post the number on the comment section, the details on the comment section, and then also on the, the on the description box. You can get details there. The Lord bless you. Don't forget to like this uh, message. Don't forget to subscribe to it and also circulate it widely and God will bless you. Don't forget to support the ministry financially for it to continue in all its mission, all the, our mission, our teachings and our mission, project and engagement. God bless you. Shalom Maranatha, Maranatha, Hosanna. Cover says to the blood of Jesus, the day with the blood of Jesus, our friends, our partners, our hearers, everybody hearing us with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.